Oh my God, huh? boy, he got it glock. Huh? Oh my God, huh? boy, that boy on top. Huh? Sip me walk, huh? make my heart stop. Huh? Yo, hello? It's Pavika Sana Reddy here, and today I will show you how to transition if you want to enhance your editing skills. Then make sure to check out Revy's editing visuals website and watch other tutorials on the channel. Also, if you want to support me as well, my channel will be linked in the description. Let's begin. There are a lot of different ways of making transitions. I will first show you the traditional ways, and then I will show you some of my favorite ways. The traditional ways to scale up or down the clip with some blur and sometimes a bit of glow. First, you have to have your clips sync, and then you can start to make transitions. Let's now make a transition. Transition. Here's how my synced video looks without any transitions. As you can see, it's missing transition and effects. Have your clip synced and we can start to make transitions. So let's go to your first clip. Uh, I'm gonna go right about to the end point. I think I'm gonna start here. So I'm gonna press S to scale and I'm gonna keyframe it. Just press on it. And I'm just gonna keep it like this. Now I'm gonna press R. Then you're gonna keyframe it. Now press U and both of these will pop up. Go to the ending of your clip. Here we're going to make the scale 160, but you can make it even larger. I kind of just want to keep it a little simple right now, but you can make it up to like 250 or something. I'm gonna make the rotation just minus five. You don't need to overdo it. I wouldn't overdo it. Now I'm going to select all of the keyframes that I have here and press F9. Press on one of the scale keyframes. Go to the graph editor. It's very important for transition to know how to make graphs. A smooth graph should be somewhat like this. It should be pretty sharp. It's gonna look way smoother and everything. Here I think I'm going to set it like right here. You don't need to make it too sharp because it sometimes doesn't look too good. I'm gonna point this a little down here. The more you put it to the side the sharper it is. All right this is how the scale up looks like now. Now go and press on the rotation keyframe. Go to the graph editor. I really think you should make rotations as sharp as possible. Sometimes you don't have to when it's over a big area of the clip, but when it's a fast transition, you can make it really sharp because you don't want the rotation to pop out too much. One more important thing. You have to have these pressed on. So for you, it's going to be like this. So you have to press on this, it's gonna make it smoother, it's gonna add like this blur. And then sometimes you also need this. What this does is if your clips are kind of laggy, it'll make them not lag as much. It, it'll look smoother, but sometimes it ruins some clips. For example, usually start clip gets messed up like this. You can fix it by just cutting the clip and then just unmaking this, but I don't really care too much about it, so I'll just keep it fine. Now I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Control Alt Y. I'm gonna put this adjustment layer on top of these two clips. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit. I'll start it from around here. You don't need to start it from the start of your scale up. On the adjustment layer, I will add deep glow. I don't recommend making it too much. So at the start, I'm going to make it zero and I'll keyframe the exposure. Now I'm going to add turbulent displace. Here, we're going to change some settings. So on the amount, make it zero. Keyframe it. Make the size somewhere 250. Keep it like that as it is for now. Now we're going to go to the start of the next clip. Here, we're going to press U on the turbulent displace amount. Make it 61 on deep glow, 0.5. Go like two frames in front. I'm gonna cut this, cut, cut it out, just delete it. Change the turbulent displace to zero and deep glow to zero. Select all of the keyframes. I'm gonna press F9. Select one of your keyframes. So I'm gonna select the turbulent displace keyframe. I'm gonna go to the graph editor. And here I'm gonna change it up. It's not too important to change it for the turbulent displace, but I still think it looks way smoother if you change it this up a little bit. Like right this, extend this to here, and I would like to extend this here, extend this a little here. I like that, I like how that looks. And you have to go to the graph editor of the deep clone. Here we're not gonna change too much, we're just gonna make this go a little here, this one a little back, maybe here, extend this a little here. More important part is to add a blur on top of here. Press Control Alt Y and you'll have a new adjustment layer and then just cut it up a little bit. And on top of here, add BTC directional blur. Here we're not gonna change much. We're just going to make the blur amount 100. We're going to keyframe it and we're gonna go to the end. We're gonna make it zero. Very simple, but yet very effective. This also works a little bit with just normal directional blur. I just prefer BTC directional blur. In the second clip, since the last clip scaled up, 
we're also going to scale this one up. At the start, you need to make it lower and also keyframe it. Make it around 70. Go around 6 frames further and then make the scale 105 or 100. I'm gonna make it 105 because the next transition needs it to be a little more zoomed in at the start. Select these keyframes and I'm gonna press F9. We're gonna go to the graph editor. Uh, in graph editor, we're going to make it scale up like this. Add motion tile, output height to around 400, and output width 350. We just made a transition that scales up. Now we're going to make a transition that scales down. So go to the end of your other clip, keyframe your scale, press R and keyframe your rotation. Now press U to see all of your all of your keyframes and go to the ending of your clip. Make the scale 70, rotation 7. Select rotation keyframes, press F9. Select the scale keyframes and go to the graph editor. I'm gonna make it pretty sharp like this. And now I'm gonna go to the rotation graph. Also pretty sharp going to add an effect called warp. Uh, you want to add it on top of motion tile because it can also crash and make the bend zero at the start of here. Now keyframe it. Now press U. Now let's go to the ending of the clip and make the bend minus 100. Let's select both of the keyframes. Press F9. Go to the graph editor. Make it somewhere like this to go to warp style and make it fisheye. Control Alt Y to add an adjustment layer. I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna add it one frame before the second clip btt directional blur uh, make the blur amount 100 keyframe it s flicker make the amplitude 0 0.26 i'm gonna go four frames forward i'm gonna cut the clip and delete the second part btc directional blur amount 20 at the end of the clip all right so we have our scale down now we also need to scale this clip down. Press S, make the start somewhere 120. You can make it way higher if you want. Press R, three, keyframe it. Press U so you can see both of the keyframes. Go to the ending of your clip. Here, make the scale 100 and the rotation zero. Select all of the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor, pretty sharp. Now we have to go back for the rotation. So press on the rotation keyframe and go to the graph editor. Also kind of sharp. I just showed you traditional ways of making transitions. Now I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways of transition. I'm gonna go to the ending of this clip. Press S, keyframe it here. Go to the ending of this clip. Here I'm going to make the scale really big, 209. Now let's select one of the keyframes here and I'm going to go to the graph editor. Make the graph editor sharp. The key to one of my favorite ways of transitioning is to actually just add a couple of one frames and scale the one frames up. Press Ctrl Alt Y to make an adjustment layer. You need to cut the adjustment layer to one frame. Add transform. I'm going to scale it up quite a lot, so 157. This one frame needs to be somewhere in between of the two clips. I'm going to make the position 734, this one 259, the rotation I'll make it 13. I'm going to add another one frame on the other clip. So I'm just going to actually copy and paste this one. I'm going to put it on top of the other clip. I'm actually not going to change anything here. This transition doesn't even need any blur, by the way. We can also add one frame glitches on here. Could add a lot here. Here I'm going to press S. I'm just going to keyframe it. Go like four frames forward here. Just a little scale up, so 110. The last transition will be a scale down and a really big one with some shake. Add motion tile. The output height 400. Output width 350. Select these keyframes. Press F9. Go to the graph editor. A little bit short. Somewhere like here. This will be a longer transition. Basically needs to start almost from the half of the clip. Keyframe the scale here and also add warp on top of the motion tile here. Make this to a fisheye, make the bend to zero and keyframe it here. Press U so you can see it. Go to the ending of your clip, make the bend minus 100. Scale, make it 75. Keyframe the bend, bend graph editor. Here we're going to make a sharp graph. Go to the scale graph, also make it pretty sharp. Somewhere in between of these keyframes, I'll press P and I'm going to keyframe it. And here the fun starts. I'm going to go to the next frame of the positioning. I'm going to make this 1000. I'm going to go to the next frame. Honestly, these are just sort of random numbers that are close to each other. I think I'm going to make this 950 and this one 960. If they're a little too far apart, it might not look very good. This one I'll make 
950. This one I'll make 960. This one I'll make 976. This one I'll make 960. There we have made a shake. Now I'm going to go somewhere here where it's about to end. I'm gonna press Control Alt Y. Got adjustment line. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit. And here I'm going to BTT Lens Blur OBS. Iris Scale 0 here. Keyframe it. Make this to sharp. Gamma go somewhere to 800. Add S Flicker. 0.61 somewhere here. Go to the end of the clip. The iris scale 15. Cut this adjustment layer and just delete. I'm going to press U. Select these keyframes. Press F9. Go to graph editor and make the graph something like this. We've made the last transition. If you want your clips to look better after you transition them, you can press Ctrl Alt Y and add an adjustment layer. And here you can add motion time and add it on top of this adjustment layer. Change the output height to 90. This will give it a cinematic look. There are so many different ways to transition. I recommend practicing the ways that I showed you and then try something original because you will already have learned the basics. Alright, I really hope that this was helpful. Have a productive day. See ya.